It's a new season in the Premier League, but for Bakayo Saka, it feels like last season never even ended because he has picked up exactly where he left off. Last season, no other Arsenal player had more goal contributions than him. And three games into the new season, that's already the case once again. And this is despite him giving up a penalty in the game against Crystal Palace. So how good is Bakayo Saka? He's so good that at just 21, He's already regarded as one of the best right wingers on the planet, and his left foot is regarded as one of the deadliest in the world of football at the moment. How good is Saka really? I'll break it down to you in a minute, but I'll need you to quickly hit the like and subscribe button. Done? Okay, now back to the question of the day. Saka is so good that he joined Arsenal's Hale End Academy at the age of seven, and his talent was immediately clear to everybody who watched. Years back, Trevor Bumstead, the coach of the Arsenal under-16s at the time, had this to say about Saka. Bukayo always stood out in the younger teams. He was a fantastic decision maker. He knew when to beat people and when to pass, as well as having brilliant physical attributes and really good character and personality. That statement right there sums up the Saka we know and see every match day. His brilliance on and off the ball is actually outstanding. Like Trevor said, he knows exactly when to take a defender on and he knows when to pass to a teammate. Oh, and he also knows when to unleash a shot. And this is why his numbers for assists, goals and dribbles completed are always high. He can do it all and he knows exactly when to. See, Saka is so good that he made his Arsenal first team debut at the age of 17. He's so good that he is the first player born in the year 2001 to ever play in the Premier League. He's so good that he scored his first goal for Arsenal at the age of 18 and it was a banger. A curler from outside the box against Eintracht Frankfurt in the Europa League. And to show you how much of a well-rounded player he is, he finished that game with two assists on top of the goal. But goals and assists don't even tell the full story about Bukayo Saka. This guy is, no doubt, one of the most versatile players in the Premier League. In his breakout season, the 2019-2020 season, he played mainly as a left-back. No jokes, he was a defender. In fact, it was in that position that he even began to establish himself as a regular starter for the Gunners. So, at the time, yeah, Tierney and Kolasinac were injured, so Saka slid right into the left-back position. And boy, did he do a damn good job. But like I said, he played mainly as a left-back that season, not only as a left-back. Saka also played as a left midfielder, a left winger, a centre midfielder and a right winger. Yes, all in the same season. He was just 18, but he was already one of the club's most valuable players. Anywhere a player was injured or unavailable, Saka would slide right in and play the role perfectly. He was Kamavinga before Kamavinga. And with all that moving around from position to position, Saka managed 38 appearances in all competitions in his first full season for the Arsenal first team. In those games, he scored 4 goals and provided 12 assists. After a season this good, Arsenal knew they couldn't afford to lose him, so they offered him a new contract which he signed on the 1st of July 2020. That same month, Saka would go on to win the FA Cup with Arsenal, his first ever trophy as a professional footballer. His second trophy came not long after. He helped Arsenal win the Community Shield against Liverpool in August, assisting the Gunners' only goal in that game. It was a good way to start a season that was going to be a really good one for Saka. In the 2020-21 season, Saka was named Arsenal Player of the Month for three consecutive months between December 2020 and February 2021. It was during this period that Arsenal fans really began to see how good Saka really is. At the end of the season, the kid was named Arsenal Player of the Year, and nobody deserved it more. But boy, the summer of 2021 was really dark for Saka. You all know what happened. He missed that big penalty in the Euro final against Italy and, as a result, was subjected to insane racial abuse from fans both on social media and in the real world. A thing like that would have broken anyone. But Saka used that opportunity to prove that he's not only a top player physically, he also has a top mentality. He was able to rise above all the hate and get himself back to top form. This kid who was bullied by his own countrymen in 2021 ended up rising to become England Men's Player of the Year in 2022. He also finished as Arsenal's top scorer that season and was named Arsenal Player of the Year for the second time in a row, becoming the first person to do that since Thierry Henry. That's just how good Bakayo Saka is. And don't forget, 
he was just 20 years old at this time. But if you thought all those versions of Saka were really good, then you probably had your mind blown by the version that turned up for Arsenal in the 2022-23 season. You could say that that was the season that the boy became a man. He was one of Arsenal's most important players as the North London club shocked the world by mounting a proper title charge. Saka didn't miss a single Premier League game all season. He just kept dribbling, carrying, creating, scoring and assisting game in, game out. He was one of just two players in the Premier League who finished the season with double figures in goals and assists. Just him and Mohamed Salah. You can see that the 21-year-old kid is in very good company. He finished that season as the Arsenal player with the most goal contributions in the Premier League. Midway into the season, he went to the World Cup and finished with the most goal contributions for an England player at the tournament. He scored two in the opening game of the tournament against Iran, one in the round of 16 against Senegal, and won a penalty in the quarter-final against France. The boy is heavily influential everywhere he goes. But you know what? His mentality is crazy. Despite being so young, Saka has a mentality that makes him stand out from his peers. This guy has been carrying Arsenal since he was 19, but he makes it look too damn easy. And like I said earlier, after missing the biggest penalty of his entire career and being heavily abused for it, many players would have steered clear of penalties for good. But not Saka. Never Saka. He didn't stop attempting penalties and he has converted many since then. Even some really high pressure pens. That's a crazy mentality right there. And we still keep seeing that mentality till date. Because even after losing out on the Premier League to Man City in 2022, he was able to motivate his teammates to go again and they were able to beat that same Man City to win the Community Shield, his third trophy as a player. He was even the one who assisted Trossard's late, late goal in that game which forced penalties. Saka is just so highly influential, man. It's why Arteta never takes him off when the team is in need of goals. Martinelli, Jesus, Trossard and even captain Erdegaard might go off. But Saka always stays because he's that kind of guy that can create something out of absolutely nothing. Now, he has started the 2023-24 Premier League season with two goals in three appearances to ensure that Arsenal remain unbeaten early in the season. You look at the way he's going and you just expect him to deliver another really productive season with double figures for goals and assists in the Premier League alone. Oh, and by the way, this season, we'll be seeing Bukayo Saka in the Champions League for the first time ever. I personally can't wait to see this guy under those bright lights on a Tuesday or Wednesday night. Then you'll see how good Bukayo Saka really is. But, um, is Saka the best winger in the Premier League right now? What do you think? Tell me in the comments.